Hi guys, Lewis from Brinter Customs here on episode X. I uh, can't even remember what we're up to now, but we are up to the wiring part. Okay, so on this episode, we just want to show you guys briefly. We're not going to go into too much detail because it is it does take close to two days from start to finish to do this, so it will be too much recording. But we will we'll show you guys in step um, how we go about doing it. So this is, well, we've got, I'll start with this. This is the loom that attaches to the engine, okay? So I did start already, I got rid of this little guy here. Okay, there's four wires, there's two there that I've cut and these two that are not needed. We have here our starter motor start signal. We have this one here, it's an, an ignition 12 volts to, um, it's a voltage reference for the alternator. This is our alternator um, light in the, in the dash, so that needs to be hooked up to the to the blue wire in, in here that goes to the dash as well. And the brown with the green is our oil pressure. Okay, this one normally goes into this plug here. Um, we just cut that off and we will join this to in here as well for the light on the dash. Okay, so I've done that so far. And, and this, as you can see, that's, that's just a single loom that goes onto the engine. But we have to add some of this, not all of this. So there are a few things in here that we need to get rid of. Pretty much everything uh, related to the SMG and also the Rio 2 sensors that we won't be using. So I will show you guys, this is what it looks like now. We'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done with it. There's quite a bit of time involved in this, so I won't show you the whole process, but I'll show you guys once it's done.
All right, guys, so this is what we ended up with. Okay, as you saw, as I showed you earlier. So this is everything we got rid of. This is all SMG parts, um, sorry, XM, SMG wiring and the rear O2 sensors. Okay, so we don't need none of that. So that can go, it will help to make things a little bit neater and so on. Now there is a, a little bit of um, forward thinking in this, in, in doing this section here. So for example, we need to add a fuel pump relay. Now, instead of adding a separate relay, we just turn the old SMG relay, we'll turn that into a fuel pump relay. Okay, and we modify the wiring to suit. We also added, we got positive and negative here. Um, so we've got ignition and battery power for our OBD plug. And we've ran our trigger for the fuel pump relay. We've, we've added onto here because the, this goes to the ECU. Now the fuel pump trigger, it's on a, on a different plug, but we're just running through here just to keep everything neat flowing through the, through the harness there. So that is it. This is our front O2 sensors that we will use. We've got our main main power harness here okay and we'll all this will be fitted just into this section here and we'll feed the cable through the firewall onto behind the glove box where the dme is going to sit all right guys so we are ready um i'll just just before we show you guys the car running just want to go through a couple of steps a couple of things that are done in here Okay, so this is our accelerator pedal wiring. Okay, so this is this is where the where the DME is going to sit. Okay, we're going to tuck that up nice and high there so it doesn't get in the way of the glove box. Okay, so with the wiring in here, um, it's pretty simple. So we've got an we've got an a factory E46 plug that's got the right wiring for the accelerator pedal <coughs> excuse me and this is the correct plug for the pedal okay so very straightforward the colors the colors of the wires here are the same colors that are coming out of the dme so you just got to lengthen them okay so we run a certain amount of length to run it across over to the side and it can reach the the pedal once we install it Okay, now to this harness, I have also added this section here. Now these are the three wires. So we've got two wires here that are for the radiator outlet temp sensor. Okay, so we've installed that already on this radiator. And this one here, this is going to be the PWM signal to the fan controller. Okay, so I've got to do a separate wiring for that. I'll show you guys later. But um, yeah, I've just added it onto this harness just to try and keep it all neat. And that's gonna go through and it's gonna come out through the firewall near the battery. And, that's, and then I've got to make another section for the, for the fan controller there, which that'll plug into that. Okay. So we'll put this back in here. Throw this over here. Now we've, um, I've already flashed I flashed the DME with the EWS delete and also we've deleted the MAF sensor so we can run without an inflammator. Okay, so we've done that and I'll just fire it up quickly. Alright guys, so that's it for now. Um, I've got to install the O2 sensors in, they're not in there yet, that's why it sounds a little bit how you're going, but we've done the wiring, we've tested it to check that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I can continue now and finish it off and wrap it up. And i still got to connect a couple of hoses there 
for the cooling system, but yeah, it's running. <laughs>